video, I'm going to break down, react, and review Bridgerton the musical. So let's sing something. <gasps> la la la! If you are new to my channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell icon because I come out with a new video every single day teaching you how to sing. Yay! Now, today I'm going to go over. Bridgerton, the possible TikTok musical. If you guys are like, what is she even talking about? Okay, kind of like how there was Ratatouille, the TikTok musical, and how that grew and developed and the whole thing. And personally for me, I thought it was a really cool idea, but I didn't quite connect with it the same because I like more of heartfelt ballad, emotionally wrecking kind of musicals. And I feel like Bridgerton is got that in it. Is that how you say it really, Bridgerton? I feel like I say it wrong every time I say it. So first up, we have Abigail Barlow. This chick is the one who started the whole thing. And this is the actual TikTok that started it all. Okay, but what if Bridgerton was a musical? <clears throat> what a beautiful party. so something I would do. Um, her air within her tone is fantastic. It's just gorgeous sounding. If you're wanting that same kind of air, you would add an H to it. Um, uh, but what am I hearing? Let's say if it's hearing. It wouldn't be hearing. It would be hearing. Hearing. Hear. Hang. You'd add an extra H onto your sound to create that whisper tone, which is exactly what she's doing here. It creates the soft emotional feeling that obviously this musical is heading in that direction or this mock-up musical. So up next we have is Nick Daly. Now Nick Daly took one of her TikToks and he is doing now a duet as the counterpart to this song. If this is what you call a honeymoon, pacing around our separate rooms, Running from our love elaborate rooms yeah, Windows Please forgive me your grace Can't even look me in the face And now I must lie in the mess you made The mess we made it was your Woo. mistake You kissed me in the I face. was prepared to take my life I stole your fate I stole your fate I stole your no, fate No, I stole your fate I don't understand and now you're forced to love a man you hate. Simon. I know you don't feel the same, but I burn. You burn for me. I burn. I burn. I burn. I burn. I burn. For you. Oh, he's good. He's good. So the difference in style technique, where she was adding more air and soft texture, he's bringing more chord connection together, um, which you can do by almost saying the words and then singing the words directly after, and that will help connect that sound. Now, he chose some beautiful moments to really bring in that character into that voice, and you just immediately attach. You immediately attach to him. Um, I like him a lot. Do you like to sing? Then you should join my Facebook group. We go live with vocal warm-ups, singing Saturdays, warm-up Wednesdays, and even our monthly group challenge with all sorts of prizes. Click the link in the description below and join our creative community of singers just like you. 
Up next we have is Jer, or Jer, J-E-R. Um, let me know how to say his name. He is gonna do another duet as this, this whole TikTok Bridgerton thing started to develop and grow and more of them were coming in and more TikToks and more duets. And this is another one in that succession as it's gradually developing and growing. Okay, but hear me out. I love this song. That deep voice. It. You know me and deep voices. What a terrible soiree. Filled with miserable people pretending they're happy in this masquerade. We go through the motions when all that we crave is escape. From the choices we make. And I see her smiling. Wait, how can she be smiling? There's been no reconciling. And when she's in my focus, she won't even notice my gaze. How can she be okay when I can't even drink champagne? No, without seeing your face. Am I the one to blame when we're dancing in the same room but you're an ocean away? So his way was beautiful. He put a big, nice open eh. As you're going in for a big belting note like that, you want to make sure that the jaw unhinges, the tongue comes down, and you go for the vowel tone instead of way, way. He had beautiful technique on that in his low tone. Now, the crazy thing is, clearly, she's writing all of these songs because I, when, you have a tendency of when you're writing all the songs, you write what's comfortable for you. You write what sits within your comfort range as a singer. And so it almost feels like the male counterparts, like for instance, him just singing, he did a beautiful job, but I feel like if you change the key or you change some of the notes to adjust more towards a male range, you can then show off that range more. You can show off the dynamics. It's kind of sitting where they just have to sing an octave below and it's more written for the sweet spot of a female. Up next, we have Carrie Hope Fletcher singing um, one of the songs is this Groo. This is actually a female character, and then she's using the instrumental to sing over the top. Uh, and it's supposed to bring in a different feel to it, um, character-wise. Never as thin, never as perfect, never for him, never deserving of the boy I love. Never the star, always an asteroid, delicate heart, one. forever the last choice of the one I want. So I keep it all in, it's like I'm invisible in my own skin. Give up on the fictional nice. fairy tale and you're not Cinderella, you're just Penelope Featherington. Oh, singing technique wise, it was beautiful. She had nice support there. She had nice ping right in the front and she was leaning that sound forward. But who is she as a character? Who is she? So I think my suggestion to her would be to dig into that character and make it her own. Figure out who she is and really hammer that in because this is open market right now, man. This is totally open market of how you're going to project that character in your own way and then really take that hang on to it so um i would like to see that from her a little bit more and so we can figure out who she is up next we have tori singing probably one of the only songs that i've heard so far in this musical concept that's a little bit more upbeat we've had a lot of ballads in this which are beautiful but there needs to be like, where's the ensemble piece? Where's the upbeat piece? Where's the, the you know, the male bringing, like we need more uh, variety within this. It feels like kind of the same thing, which they're beautiful songs, but you can't have an entire musical of only slow ballads. You gotta bring in some variety. So that way the dynamics change. And as an audience member, we stay still entertained. I guess I have to be a lady Smiling and waving Constantly obeying I guess I need a prince To come and save me Even if I don't need saving 
I guess I'll just sit on a throne I don't own Raising the babies we made all alone I guess as a lady there's just some things that I don't know But if I were a man, I'd go to Japan Maybe swim in the Seine, or learn to speak French I'd have the whole world in the palm of my hand I'd finally do what I could, but I can't If I were a man so she definitely started bringing more of a character in there as well. So you could kind of feel kind of her like, ugh, here's what it is if I were a man. So I like that she brought that character in a little bit more. I felt like I could relate to it a little bit more. I'm not quite sure about the cigarette thing. This must be a Bridgerton thing. It's gotta be. But I, her vocals were also beautiful. She really went into a nice flip into her falsetto and she didn't always use air. Go ahead and click here for my free downloadable cheat sheets on how to sing like the cast of Wicked, Hamilton, Six, Dear Evan Hansen. Click here for all my musical theater reaction reviews. And if you're a singer, come hang out with me in my Facebook group. The link is down below and I will see you in the next song. La, 